welcome back to another video. I have missed you all and today we are going to be reviewing my childhood movie Monster High Ghoul's Rule because I used to be a huge fan of Monster High. It was my goth awakening. I really love the characters and all that so it's like my baby so. But before we dive in please stab that like button and subscribe button okay just stab it. What's stopping you? It's free come on just do it. So we start the movie by watching an old film explaining why Halloween in the monster high world is so different than ours. So you need to know that humans in the monster world are called normies. Halloween serves as a reminder that normies are no good monster hunting bastards and that they should stay away from them at all costs. Okay, before going any further, there are a lot of characters in this movie and I know all the characters. Oh, <laughs> monster high fan. There are a lot of characters, so we will be focusing on Frankie, who is the main character, Jackson and Holt who are Jekyll and Hyde character, they share one body. Cleo and Deuce, Cleo is a mummy and Deuce is this Medusa looking creature. They are a couple, they have their own storyline. So you understand the character's roles here, right? Okay. It's Frankie's first Halloween and from the Normie articles that she has been reading, it is a huge contrast between the Normie's Halloween and the monster's Halloween. Frankie thinks it's a joyous holiday where people would dress up and have candy. Her professor says that Frankie shouldn't believe these articles and that they are all fake news. But Deuce introduces the fact that the film has been shown to them over and over again every year, but nothing really happens. I really love this moment that the professor and Deuce share. It's really funny and cute. Dude, uh, I mean, uh, sir, dude, you make us watch that boring old film every year and every year nothing happens. Deuce. Dude. Can we pause and talk about the animation for a bit? Because wow, I really like the bouncy animation with their exaggerated facial expressions. Very fun watching it on screen. Okay, so I'm gonna hate on the next scene for a bit. Just, just, I'm gonna hate on it. In the next scene, we are introduced to Jackson. They display that he's not just a mere human by making him bump into a monster. The bully monster character says, hey, watch where you're going, Normie. And he says, hey, I'm not just a human. He starts playing music uh, out of his eye coffin and he turns into this monster side of him which is named Halt. It's cringe because it took me out of the story. I knew that the creators, I mean the writers, just wanted to introduce the character real quick to the people who are not exposed to Monster High before this movie. And I get it. You could have done it in a better way, my dude. The normies trash the school. All the monsters are mad and confused. Then we are introduced to Spectra. Spectra is a ghost who runs a blog and she has been studying the history of Halloween. Her books fall on the floor and a map is revealed. Frankie and the gang decide to discover whatever the map is trying to lead them to. They go down to the catacombs, which reminds me so much of Harry Potter, like the way that they call humans normies and they also have like secret tunnels and stuff in their school. It's just Harry Potter. They discover a tiny door that has a pumpkin on it and I love how Spectra appears and she's like, what took you so long? Behind the door, they they discover this museum looking kind of room where artifacts are displayed of past Halloween and costumes. Then a skeleton appears from above and explains the beginning of Halloween and basically Halloween was supposed to be a night where humans and monsters celebrate by helping each other, dressing up like each other. Frankie and the gang are excited about their findings. When they arrive, they go outside and they see the normies have striked again. Everyone is mad again. The headmistress calls for an emergency meeting with all the students. She says that the situation is getting out of hand so it's safer to hide. But Frankie stands up and tries to tell the truth about Halloween but of course they misunderstand and they start this whole mob. So now we're going to the B story. It's all about Cleo and her struggles with her family and Deuce which plays a huge part in the main story as well. Nefera which is Cleo's older sister mocks Cleo and her relationship. Cleo basically ignores everything and then and the greatest scene ever happens. Dude, 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 babe. Yo, Cleo, what's going on? That motivates Cleo to stand up and become a leader in this situation. She gathers up all the monsters and gives a huge speech about how they should strike back. Poor Jackson wants to participate in this whole rebellion thing, but because he's a normie, they wouldn't let him. They would only let him if he's Holt. Give my boy Jackson some respect. 
Frankie and the gang decide to follow Cleo because Cleo ordered everyone to go to the catacombs and go to the monster, I mean human world. We are introduced to my favorite character in the whole movie. <laughs> yes, it is the cop. It is the cop with the mustache. He is so funny. I love him. As a, as a kid, I really hated that dude, but as an adult, I, I love him. So the reason why the cops have been chasing the monsters is because they think that they trashed the normie school and that is not true. The monsters all end up in a Halloween party that is hosted by a normie and they invite them because they think that they're wearing costumes. There's this one girl, she's a goth chick, um, she's a bit suspicious of them, she comes up to them and tells them that she hasn't seen them before. Two twins come and interrupt the party. They introduce Lilith Van Helsing and Claude for some reason recognizes those two twins like they were wearing a mask when they were trashing your school how did you know so she interrupts the party to give a whole speech about how they should go back to the true meaning of Halloween which is hunting monsters just like her uncle used to do suddenly the police appear and they caught Holt saying that he is the one who vandalized the school but Holt keeps screaming that he's not the one who did it so the monsters run. I really like this scene because when the cop is done drinking his coffee, he turns around and he sees not Holt, but Jackson. So he takes Jackson out and puts him in an army school. He really likes it there because no one's picking on him for being a human. The music started playing and he turns into Holt. Lilith, she's the one who saw him transform and she kept it a secret to herself. Hmm, why is that? I really like the scene where he transforms into Holt. It's really cool. Back in Monster High, we see everyone who was outside they're in detention. Cleo and Deuce break up and have a fight. But whatever, because we need her to break up with Deuce and do something crazy like rally up everyone. Cleo tells everyone that she was Holt's inspiration and that Holt is going to update everyone on Critter, which is their Twitter. So of course Cleo is lying and she's just chasing Clout. In the next scene we find out that, oh my god, all the things that's been happening is all because of Lilith. She's the one who's been vandalizing the two schools. While Lilith and her goons try to ruin another property of the school, they see Frankie and the gang going to Holt to stop him because they think that it's Holt behind the whole thing, but it's actually Lilith. They find Jackson in the janitor's closet. This dude does not have a home to go to. They confront Jackson and Jackson is like, this is not my Twitter account. I don't know what you're talking about. I am innocent. But as they learn the truth, don, 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 Lilith comes in with the sheriff. Hey, remember when Lilith saw Jackson turn into Holt? Well, yeah, she knows so she pulls out a boombox he turns into Holt then we cut back to Monster High Frankie and the gang are in the headmistress office but she turns on the TV to hear that Holt is going to be punished or killed so they're in detention and Frankie is trying to make a plan to save Holt. The first thing that they need to do is to get Goth Chick and Chad to help them with their plan to get Cleo and Lilith and confront them about what they did. They they admitted in front of the sheriff that it's their fault and not Holt's. But this dude, the sheriff, is hilarious because he says this. I'll let you in on a little secret. I don't care. Wait, what? Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Holt did it. They did it. The boogeyman did it. Doesn't matter. Those people out there demand justice. And I'm gonna give it to them. <laughs> When I take that boy up the hill tonight, things can get back to the good old days. I love the response. It's so real. So we're reaching towards the end of the movie. Do their plan of saving Holt. They save Holt. They go to the catacombs where they found the museum of like the, the origin of Halloween and Frankie speaks the truth. Everyone parties and while they're partying, the cops come in and they're like, party's over guys. We need you to stop where you're all arrested, the monsters. And they pull the Radio Rebel move if you guys know what Radio Rebel is, uh, where they're all like, I'm a monster. No, I'm the monster. Come, you can arrest me. And everyone's a monster, so they can't arrest everyone. So they just let everyone be. Everything's good now. Monsters and humans are getting along. Then the goth chick and Jackson share a kiss. 
But if you're a Monster High fan, you know that Jackson in the web series is actually- they have- he has a thing with Frankie. And the goth chick and Jackson never really have that kind of relationship in the movie, so I was really confused about that decision. Oh, and Cleo and Deuce make up. Everyone's partying. The skeleton appears from above. The end. That's the spirit of Halloween. Good night. That's the Monster High Ghouls Rules movie. Okay, so my thoughts on the movie. I'm gonna be biased here. I really like the movie because it's my childhood and I really love Monster High. Rewatching it as an adult, I really appreciate the more adult details that they added in the movie that I haven't noticed before. And I really like the cop character. Th those are my notes. But yeah, I really love the movie and I hope that you watch it too. Okay, see ya. You made it till the end of the video, thank you so much for watching till the end. Update about my life, I had COVID, so that was fun. Special thanks to Evan Howley 3 thank you so much for your support and thank you for commissioning me. Commissions are open, by the way, if you want drawings from me. Don't forget to follow me on my socials to know what I'm up to. Love you guys. Boo!